Hello, this is Leila from Radakad. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about that how you can call Azure ML endpoint uh, inside uh, Power Query when you don't have premium account. So we are going to see that uh, if you have an Azure ML account and we create an endpoint, how we are able to use web.content uh, function in Power Query to call it. So this is my Azure ML environment. I'm already created an endpoint uh, for some of my machine learning model. So uh, I put the link to the video on how to create endpoint inside uh, Azure ML workspace um, and the uh, content of the on the comment parts of the this YouTube one. So here, uh, this is the one of the endpoint that I'm created. So as you can see, it has a REST endpoint API. It has primary key and secondary key and uh, also it provide me a consumption guide so if i want to call this api inside um, other application that can be c sharp python or r that i'm going to call inside power query so what is happen actually i use the things that you can see here uh, for me because i used to be a, a c-sharp developer before but many things actually uh, i didn't work for a long time so i use a software uh, recommended uh, by reza named uh, postman so i just uh, start to use it it's really good one so here you specify uh, what action you want to do so i want to post so for as a as an api call is a post so I put my URL over here and then in the next step you need to specify header and body so for the header I have content type and authorization how could I find that here uh, as you can see here um, uh, actually I, I for this one I need to check different parts so I also check the uh, Python code so I see that okay this is my content type and so I need a header for that. So these are the list of the header. So I need a content type and I need the application. That's that is application JSON. So here in the postman, the first header that I define is content type and application JSON. The other part was author, uh, authorization. So I need another header name authorization that starts with Briere and the API key so here i actually create a label authorization plus barrier and my api key so these are our my header also i need to put my uh, body here body is actually is a sample input as a json format that we need to pass to api call so here i actually use the c sharp one because it's so compatible with the power bi with all of the quotation things so it's a sample that how is my input data would be that's the data uh, these are an uh, example of the predicting uh, people survive in um, in Titanic example so as you can see we have passenger class uh, gender age and also uh, the global parameter that is predict so these are the input and for my body over here so this actually I tested and if I change the parameter here I see okay this is working so I can use all of them inside my power query so back to the power query uh, I uh, actually create a, a power uh, query here so so first of all I create a new blank query over here and inside the advanced editor so uh, here I'm going to uh, for now I'm not going to parameterize that I'm just going to write couple of code so first of all I'm going to call a function name web content so web content as you can see here is get URL uh, and uh, some other options that we need so the first thing is the URL I put my URL inside a variable so I pass it to here small one and then in the 
next step uh, so actually i need to pass uh, headers so i'm going to define a records that have my headers over here so i'm going to define a list of the headers over here so first of all um, Header. So I get help from Chris Webb weblog about um, how to define the web content. Uh, so that part actually I get help from him. So here we are going to define a, another uh, actually uh, another records. So to create records in Power Query we use the square bracket. So just let me it here so these are my headers under the headers I'm going to use uh, a define a variable authorization so I hope that I'm correct and then I'm going to paste my API key over here so I'm just going to replace that so this is my authorization header another header I need is uh, uh, another header I need is content type. I just put it over here. So as you can see, that's a content type based on what I have in my documentation is application.json. Um, after the defining the header, I still need to have uh, something else that is actually my content uh, type, uh, my content, that is my body uh, uh, actually over there so I'm going to add that one as well <clears throat> so it's a content type we need so I provide the examples of that and just be careful you close the brackets correctly I think it should be fine so this is the kind of the core of the API call that I have over here so let's see what we get Okay, so I get something like this. This is not going to show me the result. I need to add another step to that one. So I back to the Power Query editor and I need to convert it to be a JSON file. So back to here. I'm going to add another steps. So we are going to convert the result to be as a JSON file. And okay, so we get a list uh, as a result of the JSON. We are going to convert it to become a, a table, expand the rows. So this is actually working. I still didn't provide the uh, proper data to that one. So I didn't provide is actually just a default parts that doesn't have proper value so now we are going to parameterize that and make it much more clear to do that one uh, i'm create some parameters for that so here i'm going to define a parameter for api key a new parameter for url for the age for gender and for passenger class and after i create that one so uh, going to uh, just showing you what is the process so we are going to replace the parameters over here so you just need to pass the passenger class gender and age as a parameter over here and now uh, just right click over here create a function that i already created so it's actually show you a place that you can invoke it so instead of doing that as actually what i did i have a data like over here so i have a data about titanic i call the invoke function through that and then i specify the uh, kind of columns as an input and then after that is actually i receive the result of the prediction over here and this is my final word so this is also the prediction so i just convert it to be a prediction so this is how actually we able to call. So I think one of the most challenge part if you want to call an API is about how you detect the headers, the body, and what is that. I I found that definitely you need a good documentation. Uh, the one that I have inside 
As you remember, uh, I checked the C sharp one, so I got some parts from C sharp, some parts from Python. So you need to check the different variation because uh, can be different. So just check for them. They have a bit different syntax, and it help you to find out how they work. And also using the post. Uh, Postman application can really help, and of course, I get help from Reza and Chris and Imke weblog. So their weblog also really helpful for me to create this um, this API call inside Power Query. Thanks so much for watching this video.